So I've found myself mapping a lot of land cover and land use in OpenStreetMap. And as you can see, this involves creating many intricate um, adjacent areas on the map. And so I wanted to show you um, a little bit about how I edit the multi-polygons that make up this land use and land cover. Um, and hopefully you can find this useful. So I'm going to be using the JOSM uh, OpenStreetMap Editor, and I also recommend using the RHEL Toolbox. Um, I'll put some links in the show notes um, to that and uh, both of those tools. Um, and so broadly, um, in this case, I'm going to map uh, some trees and farmland. Um, so I find, you know, I'll start here uh, tracing the outlines of some fields. And as I zoom in and out to different uh, age of uh, satellite imagery, I can actually see different ways that the land is used. So we can see that this is actually some meadow here versus agricultural uh, land. So I'm gonna just make this come out here. And so I can tag this as uh, and use meadow. So right now this is just a normal um, closed way, um, but I'm going to hit the command B to make this a multi-polygon already because I know I'm going to split it apart very soon. Um, so now I want to map these tilled areas, and so I'm going to select two nodes of this closed way that is now a multi-polygon. Hit the P key to split it, so now I have multi-polygon with two ways. And then I'll start here and I'll trace up to this other field. Boom, 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 put it up there. And I'm gonna be really anal retentive and probably, yeah, you know, that goes around those wetlands. So go up here. Do, do, do. So this one nice thing about multi-polygons is that they are, I find them to be quite easy to edit after the fact. So I find it um, pretty easy to just make a overall um, assignment here and then go back and tweak them to make them more and more precise over time. So now I have two ways here. This is going to be my multi-polygon for this uh, land. So now I'm going to double click on this in the relations tab so that that actual multi polygon is what is selected rather than the constituent ways. Then I'll add uh, land use um, farmland to this one because it, rather than grazing, this is tilled area. Um, so now we have a bunch of trees. So let's connect those two. Hit our P key to split these ways. Now I can select that way and this way. Hit my Command B again to create another multi polygon. Double click on it. Have land cover trees. And I'm also going to add natural wood to get that to render because of the um, land cover versus natural wood conflict. So there we have. Um, I now have three multi-polygons in this area, and I find this pretty easy to continue. So um, here we have some wetland. Um, so I'm going to click to start here, start tracing this wetland, um, marshy area here. Okay, and then once again, I'll click here, hit P to split that into multiple ways, hit P over here, and now we can select our 
um, ways that we're going to make. Hit Command B to make a new multi polygon, and now I can do water, wetland, and that looks like a marsh in my area. So here, um, now I've created this as a marsh, um, and let's say you know this is wrong. I want to edit this. This is where the relation toolbox comes in. So um, this here looks like some sort of scrubby trees rather than actually maybe a rock outcropping rather than marsh. So what I'm going to do is um, actually start drawing another multi polygon here to encapsulate this area. And yeah, it looks like the marsh is really just in that area. Okay, so now we have another way. So this way is connecting, the, going past this, so I'm going to split it here. And this one's already split, so I don't need to do any splitting. So this is where the relation toolbox makes this much easier. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom left to my, or right to my relation toolbox and double click on that. That is going to highlight this current relation in yellow, make it easier to edit. Now I'll select this new one and hit plus in the relation toolbox and select that that is the outer way of this wetland. And then I'm going to come over to this other one, hit minus. So now the wetland has this new outer boundary. And then I can select these, hit my command B, and make a new uh, natural scrub polygon. So in that way, the relation toolbox is really a, makes it very easy to add and remove um, new members from a uh, from a way. So similarly, if we want to add um, a pond here. Water. Um, that is a pond, and if I want, I can select any one of the lines here. See, this one is part of both farmland and meadow. I'll double click on the meadow, and then I can add this as an inner um, polygon to the meadow, and that selected inner um, automatically. So. Anyway, that is how I use Jossum and um, the Relation Toolbox to um, pretty easily work with multi-polygon areas that have shared boundaries. The great thing is, because these boundaries are shared, um, if I notice, oh, this needs to be tweaked, well, that can, um, this will affect both of them. We don't have any uh, traces of, um, closed ways over closed ways. Um, it's just one line per um, per area. So you can tweak things like that very easily. So that is it. Thanks for 